Yeah, people, I took a big ass beat with that. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I had no idea what I was doing. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I'm not sure if the hate was out. They're pretty pretty big uh views, but I took a lot of <laughs> a lot of people were not very happy. So this one guy, Jay White, was upset I didn't show the scoreboard. Okay. Um So his kitchen cabinets need to upgrade, and it was just basically a bunch of BS. So what I'm going to do now, this is basically a part two to that video. The only thing I am really going to do this time, I'm not even going to mention one of these SWAC schools because it doesn't really, the people don't really seem to understand the need to improve. So what I'm going to do here. Please keep yourselves updated for these few ignorance. AM has upgraded its stadium scoreboard in 2016. I don't even know if that's PG. watching student athletes and fine arts individuals run out on that field for the very first time. We had a couple of practices here earlier this week and if you could have seen the looks on those kids faces as they ran out for the very first time, that is why we do what we do. That is why we built this facility. The only issues that we've had were excessive uh, cracking in certain areas. That, really pose a maintenance, a long-term maintenance issue for us. There's nothing that's structural that's wrong with this particular stadium. It is absolutely magnificent and beautiful. We, we strongly believe that we're never going to apologize for having a first-class facility. Uh, our voters voted on this. We're not in competition with some other district around us or across the state. We're simply here to provide first-class facilities. And the key thing here is we haven't foregone any other facility in our district in order to build this. Every facility in our district is first class, and as long as we maintain that standard, then we're certainly good with providing something like this, uh, knowing that it's going to, to serve our district for 50 years. <laughs> 